do you archive all of that information to be able to maintain for a suspended account? This is an account that we determine is either from a foreign actor, a hostile actor, or is inappropriate, uh, not an authorized user. Is that something you hold that information so you can maintain it? I, I need to follow up with you on the exact details of our policies, but I believe we do, especially in regards to any law enforcement action. Terrific. For Facebook, what is the practice when you suspend an account and say this is not an authorized user or we think this is a foreign or hostile user? If we have any suspicion that it's a foreign or hostile user, we would keep the information to be able to do further investigation. So th then the question is, is the investigation internal for y'all or obviously if law enforcement subpoenas that and comes to you and says I have subpoena to come get that information, that's a whole different issue. But is that something you do in your own investigation because as I'm sure you've seen in the past, some users in, uh, will create a fake account or a, some sort of hostile account. That comes down, they'll create another one, and then there's some similarities in where they go in directions and relationships. Do you maintain that data to be able to make sure that you're well prepared and educated for when they may come back to be aware of that again? For, for Twitter, what is that, Mr. Dorsey? So we, we do do our own internal investigations and we are um, benefited anytime our peers recognize something and we do share um, that data so that we can check our own systems for similar vectors or similar accounts um, and also work with law enforcement to understand the, the intent. Um, if uh, there is a request to uh, allow an account to lay dormant um, by law enforcement, we will allow that to happen uh, and work with them to make sure that uh, we are tracking it accordingly. Mr. Dorsey, the main thing I'm trying to identify, though, is let's say it happened in 2017. You identified an account that you suspended and said this is a problem area or an unauthorized user or whatever it may be. You, sus you take that count off. Do you maintain that information? And so a year later, if somebody comes back with a similar profile, you can still track it and say this is the same as what we've seen before, and it's going to take additional steps for you to get back on board or ways to be able to track their initial connections? I'm sorry, yes, we, we do maintain that information and we have a ban evasion policy. So uh, if someone is trying to evade a ban or suspension, no matter what the time frame, we can take action on those accounts as well. Okay, Ms. Sandberg. If we have any suspicion that this would be engaged in foreign or domestic inauthentic activity, or we have law enforcement um, interaction on it, we would keep that information. Uh, Mr. Dorsey, you and I have spoken on this as well about uh, data and, and the, the business model for both of you is obviously it's a free platform for everyone to use, but obviously data and advertising and all those things are very helpful just in keeping your business open and keeping employees paid. That's a given and everyone understands that when they join that platform and that conversation. But for data in particular, how do you make sure that anyone who purchases into data or gets access to that uses it for its stated purpose? Uh, rather than using it to either sell to a third party or to open up as a shell company and uh, say they're using it for one purpose, but they actually use it for a foreign purpose or direction to be able to track real-time activity of Americans. How do you assure that uh, companies that are purchasing into that opportunity to have that data are actually fulfilling and using it as they stated they would? Well, there's a, there's a few things here. Um, first and foremost, we're, we're a little bit different than our peers in that all of our data is public by default. So when we sell data, what we're selling is uh, speed and comprehensiveness. So you're, you're actually purchasing um, either insights or a real stri real time streaming product. In order to purchase that, you have to go through a very strict know your customer um, policy that we enact and then we audit every single year. Um, we do we, if, if we have any indication that there is suspicious activity happening, that is an opportunity for us to reach out to law enforcement with the sole purpose of trying to understand the intent. That is, um, that is the thing that we are not always going to be able to infer um, from us looking at the relationship. Um, you mentioned, you know, setting up um, companies that potentially are in front of governments. That is not information that we would necessarily have, and that is where we are dependent upon the intelligence uh, to uh, inform us so that we can take stronger action. So how do you determine, or, or what relation, is it an initial relationship, but there's not a follow-up after that, after, after that uh, rapid access as you uh, dictate on that? 
after that is determined, is there any way to check in on those companies to be able to make sure they're actually fulfilling your terms of service? Absolutely, and we do it We do it every year on a regular basis, but if we see anything suspicious at any point in time, we'll reach out directly. Okay. Samberg, tell me a little bit about WhatsApp. Uh, WhatsApp has been a feature of Facebook for a while. How's the encryption going on that? What's the relationship now uh, with WhatsApp, and what do you anticipate in the days ahead? Uh, we are strong believers in encryption. Encryption helps keep people safe. It secures our banking system. It secures the security of private messages. And consumers rely on it and depend on it. And so we're very committed to encryption in WhatsApp and continuing uh, to protect the, the data and information of our users. So that encryption is end-to-end -end at this point still on the WhatsApp platform? We'll get back to you on any technical details, but to my knowledge it is.